about to go take our Christmas pictures. And PJs like last time. It's not that. <laughs> So this year we're going to do it at the lake. We have a lake right around the corner from the house. We're traveling to. <laughs> Girl, say something. Uh, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> y'all laughing? What y'all laughing at? What'd she say? Not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I went to fail. Wow. Look. Hey, no. Uh, no. Don't no, say that. That's a bad word, boo. Don't, don't say that. Don't. We're gonna have fun. No, I didn't. I'm bad. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that dad. We're not gonna have a bad word. <laughs> Yep, sure do. That is a saint. Yes, of course. Yeah, you know, uh, There's ducks and geese. geese. There's ducks and geese. There's so many. Oh, I want to take a dip. Me too. And I don't know why. I want to go swimming in it. <laughs> I want to. Bye, bye. Yay, Tuppy! Okay, so I guess I should give some tips on how to take good family pictures. I don't really have none. We really just be winging it. Like we just, I don't go out there with any expectations. Just try to find a good location and pray that the girls are in a good mood and just try to have fun. I guess I'll show you guys how I edit my Christmas photos and Christmas cards sent out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into our photo editing. I go over here to my editing folder, which has all my apps that I use for social media and my YouTube videos. These are the apps I use to edit everything. So as far as like filters and whatnot, I go into my Facetune 2 app and um, I pay for the full version. It does. It is a free app, but I pay for the full version because I do do a lot of videos and photos and I like to make sure my photos are pristine. So um, this is the app that I will be using. Now, as far as my photos, I go over here to my gallery. I just inserted my SD card. We had took our pictures on a Canon camera. Uh, so we took a total of like over 100, I think it was like 120 photos that we took all together. These are the ones, as you can see, they have nice little lovely hearts on them. These are the ones that I absolutely like. Now for the sake of our Christmas card, um, I tried to choose at least one family photo and one photo of all three of the girls because of course everybody loves seeing the girls. So it looks like our family photos are down here at the bottom and I'm just looking to see, you know, if everybody's looking at the camera, uh, making sure everyone's face is seen, it's not too blurry or anything like that. There's nothing in the background that looks extremely hard to like edit out or anything. We went to a lake, so I felt like the lake background was going to be perfect for this. Now looking at this photo, Lonnie is not looking at the camera, so we won't be using this one. Same thing here, she's not looking at the camera. And then uh, Christian's head is kind of chopped off at the top so I really don't like that and then we have Cal over here kind of hiding behind Boo so we I won't be using those um although I really liked that background that was my main per main reason why I liked the photo um I don't like that it has this angle on it my dad was the one who took my fo our photos and this one's kind of blurry too he took our photos this year and he loves doing like those angled shots I prefer a straightforward photo I don't care for all the like angles and stuff he did this one because he wanted to get the ducks back there in the background and we always do our like traditional funny face for our christmas uh pictures they never make it to the christmas card but we just like to do it as our little small tradition so i am going to hit this edit down here that's in the gallery and i just want to straighten out the photo just a little bit more and i'm looking at the background making sure the background is lined up nicely 
and that, that looks pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and save this and now I'm gonna hit the share button down here and we're gonna open it up in Facetune 2. This is where we're gonna do our editing. Every time I upload a photo, the first thing I go to is my filter. Uh, my main filters I like to use on Instagram is the SN03 and the SN04. And there's also one in the very back that I really like. Um, when I choose my filters, I try to look for how it changes the background and as well as our skin tones. There's some filters that really whitewash us all out and make us look really pale and kind of like zombie looking. I like photos that's going to complement the melanin in the girls' um, faces as well as mine. And even Christian has like, you know, some tints of red in him. And I try to keep not, not like overbearing, but you know, just to give that small glow. So sunset looks like it's going to be our winner. I like that it has turned the water kind of blue and you just hit this little um, air, uh, box over here and it'll show you your before and after of the filter. And I really like how the, yeah, I really like how this filter is working. So we're gonna hit the check mark. Next, I'm gonna go into touch up. This is where I kind of get up close and personal on everyone's face to do my small adjustments. For the glow, it adds like a little highlight there, you know just like that I don't usually go anywhere above 10 I don't try to do anything too crazy as far as highlighting for the eyes I usually keep it around the 50s and 60s and it's just adding that you know added detail to the eyes so her eyes pop more and it looks a lot better when you kind of zoom out as you can see when you look at her face her eyes are the ones that are popping the most eye bags of course that'll probably be for me and Christian the girls don't really have any other than Kalia she kind of has puffiness a little bit so I will use eye bags more on her uh, forehead I do use a forehead one I usually keep it around the 50s and that's because <laughs> my babies they they got it from their mama they got their five head so I do and it just adds like a little contour around the forehead as you can see the before and after it adds that small soft contour around their forehead to kind of you know make the head look a little bit smaller because they they got five heads it's okay and then i, I also use the lips one and this one kind of just brings detail to the lips sometimes it'll darken it up so that you can see the smile a little bit more and i usually keep that around the 50 or 60 range as well now i'm going to go into uh, christian now doing his is a little bit more difficult because he never seems to really like how he looks in photos anyway I really like his eyes he's the only one who has these light brown eyes and me and the girls we all have dark brown so I do like to use the eye filter on him just to add more detail to his eyes of course the eye bags will probably pull that up to 60 as you can see he does have some puffiness and then um, we'll go into lips and now for Kalia now as you can see that puffiness that Kalia has um, I don't know if that's just a trait for her but she does have very puffy eyes so I do try to edit that as much as possible and I don't usually go too high just enough to cover it up and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of the forehead for her because she does have a somewhat big forehead as well and then we're gonna go in with the lips Now there is a auto button that you can choose and it'll automatically choose what levels that everything in here will set. I prefer to just go in and do my own personalized levels because sometimes I feel like it can look a little artificial when you use the auto on it. We're going to hit the check mark after I've zoomed out and everybody looks pretty decent still. And now we are going to go into the teeth whitening. I'm also going to check the background and make sure there's like no trash. I'm okay with the leaves, but sometimes when you go to public places, people are, are indecent and they don't know how to throw their trash in the actual trash can. So I do make sure that there's no hidden trash. If there is, I would go in with this um, patch right here and that just kind of like hides your blemishes pretty much. So you'll just tap it and as you can see, you can pretty much just blend anything into what you want it to. So, yeah, that one's a nice little trick to use as well if you have, like, something in the background that you want to get rid of. Now, I am going to crop it because as far as the Christmas photo, it, um, as far as the Christmas photo, we don't need the entire, like, background going on. I really try to focus on us being in there. I do want some height at the top because I like that little shadow of the water right there. And I'm just going to bring it in just a little bit. And then we are going to hit the check mark. And there you have it, the perfect Christmas picture all done and ready. I'm going to save it right here. 
and we're gonna go back into gallery I want to see if there is a photo of the girls that um, we will also use on the Christmas photo And there you have it guys, that is how I edit my photos using the Facetune 2 app to create our Christmas pictures and our Christmas cards. So I did have to break this video down into two parts. This part is just showing you how I use my filters and edit the actual photos. I will have a second part video uploading tomorrow on how I actually make my Christmas cards to send out to all of our family and friends. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you for watching if you've been with us this entire time. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and like button. Thank you so much. And please be safe and be blessed.